Welcome to the character gallery. Thomas has many friends on the island of Sodor. Visit them all by pressing the direction button on your controller. Gordon is the senior member of the engine family, the fastest and most powerful of my string. And he knows it. He's good-hearted, though, and always willing to forgive, and uses his superior strength to help smaller engines out of trouble. Thomas can be described as a cheeky, fussy little engine. He often gets into scrapes, usually by being over-eager to do things best left to bigger and more sensible engines. But clouds never last long in Thomas's life, and he's soon bustling about again, playing his part in the yard and on his very own branch line, of which he is extremely proud. Percy is the junior member of the principal team of engines. He is a happy little chap who normally quite happy popping around the yard with no particular desire for adventure in the great outside world outside. He, he is always keen to oblige a fact of which the other edges are have to take advantage. James is a medium sized engine. His six driving wheels are not as big as Gordon's and not as small as Thompson's. He has a fine skull of coat and bass stone, and he likes to think of himself as a really splendid engine. This can only lead to high fallen ideas about the soul of all so forth for such a noble creature. I believe they land James in trouble. Henry is a long, fast engine. He has a thoroughbred look, and like all thoroughbreds, tends to be somewhat highly strung and prone to illness. But he has his new shape now, and sympathetically driven, he'll give any engine a run for its money. Duck is a cheerful and busy engine. He's only a small tank engine, but coming as he does from the Great Western Railroad, he'll stand no nonsense whatsoever from the larger engines who try to order him about. Mavis is a feisty young diesel engine who works at the quarry. She's full of her own ideas and doesn't take kindly to advice. She has a lot to learn about trucks, but with Toby's help, she is learning to be a really useful engine. Edward is an older engine, but the most important thing about him is that he's kind. When the other engines misbehave, it's Edward that I turn to, to calm everyone down and restore order. Toby is old-fashioned, both in looks and outlook. Every engine, no matter how old, wants to be really useful, and having once nearly been scrapped, Toby is always happy to work. He's not above being temperamental sometimes, but since he works mainly up on an outlying quarry line, he can work off his moods without causing grief to anyone except his own faithful coach, Henrietta. Annie and Clarabelle were given to Thomas as a reward I'm for a coming! Really useful engine. They are much loved, but have both seen better days. Annie carries passengers. She is always pulled by Thomas and travels facing him. Clarabelle is a composite coach. She has one section for passengers and one for the luggage and the guard. Clarabelle always travels behind Annie, facing away from Thomas. Bertie has a great deal in common with Thomas. Ever since their great place, they've been the firmest of friends. Bertie's strongest characteristic is his friendly grin and his readiness to help any engine prepare to admit that just sometimes Roads have their uses as well as rails. In a railway family, Harold can hardly avoid having a high profile. He brings a welcome spot of dash to the quiet landscape of Sodor whenever he appears, and even if the noise he makes is occasionally wearing, he is good-hearted, and the engines are always pleased to see him. Like all cranes, Cranky has a high and mighty attitude, which often annoys the engines. Cranky knows that if he ever gets too big for his crane look, the engines have ways of getting back at him. However, Cranky enjoys teasing them because he says it makes for good working relationships. But don't ask Percy if he agrees. Bull Strode is an old, bad, bad, and motorized seagoing barge. He's only happy when he's carrying a full load of cargo. Otherwise, 
otherwise, he's grumpy and rude. His moaning and groaning soon got him in trouble when Percy had some troubles of Trump's talking the lesson. Trevor is a very old tractor who enjoys to spend time dozing in the sun. However, he dislikes being left outside for too long and loves an opportunity to show he's still capable of good days work. Slow and steady and always with a smile, that's Terrence. The subject of endless teasing from the younger engines because of his gathered in the tracks. Terrence takes it all in good stride and gets on with the job. Never hesitating to help out when an emergency call is called for. It's been many years since I first came to Sotor as a railway engineer. I rose quickly in the company, being a director at an early age, and eventually chairman. My imposing appearance, no less than my firm but kindly handling of both engines and staff, earned me the affectionate nickname of the fat director. After nationalization and I was awarded a knighthood for my services in the railway industry, I became Sir Top of Hatton.